most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Addis Euclid. All right, some of us waking up to a little more blue sky. You can see Lewistown. If you live north and west of Harrisburg, you're seeing a little bit more in the way of some clearing, or at least the clouds are thinning out more. Temperatures are down into the 30s pretty much everywhere. And if skies have cleared out where you are, temperatures are likely down into the lower half of the 30s. We've got 33 right now at Murph Radio. So yes, even in April, even at times early May, temperatures can drop closer to freezing in the morning. And that's why we always say Mother's Day is kind of that cutoff where usually after Mother's Day, you're good. But before that, yeah, you can still have some chilly starts. A beautiful sunrise here over Wrightsville. We're looking to the east over the Susquehanna River. That's Lancaster County over there. And it is a nice start to the day. It's a little cool, but trust me, when you see what we have in that seven day, Today and tomorrow morning are going to be just fine. 39 right now in Harrisburg. We're looking off to the north. Temperatures are in the 20s, even teens across parts of southeast Canada. So that area of high pressure is right over the Great Lakes right now, and that induces more of a northerly wind for us. And that's why we're a little on the chilly side or were on the chilly side yesterday. Will be again today and then tomorrow morning as those winds go calm. That'll likely be our coldest morning with lows down near freezing. You'd see north and west of Harrisburg where that clearing is the most. The further south you are, close to Route 30, those clouds are a little thicker right now. So the clouds thinning out a bit this morning, but there will be another push of some clouds as we head into this afternoon. That'll be heading our way. But the good news is high pressure is going to kick this front to our east late tonight. So by tomorrow morning, we are clear. And we're going to be clear for most of the next five to seven days. You can see on our precision cast, there's not a whole lot to show here going forward. The only thing I'm showing you today is clouds. So notice some thicker clouds do push back in here during the afternoon, but temperature should still make it into the low to mid 50s. I think our precision cast is running just a little bit too cool here today. Now tonight, as soon as those clouds clear out, the recipe is there for a cold morning tomorrow. I think most of us tomorrow are near freezing to start. So if you are headed out early for any early Easter services or anything like that, you will need those heavier coats tomorrow afternoon, though. We're back up near 60. So when we have all this dry air in place, you get these wild swings in temperature during the day, and that's what we're going to see tomorrow and really for a couple of days early next week as well. It has been dry. That has not been a secret this year. Even for this month, we're already running well below normal. Only a quarter inch right now. The normal to this date is 0.81, but this is what's really eye popping for the year. We're just under six and a half inches and we should be over 10 inches. So we're closing in on a four inch deficit in rain for the year. And I think that deficit is only going to keep growing here as we head over the next week. And that's because of the pattern that we have setting up. So notice what happens here as we head into the early part of the week. This big ridge of high pressure builds over the central part of the country. And the rule here in meteorology is on the eastern side of the ridge, it is dry. High pressure is there, and that's going to be the case for most of this week as well. Now, eventually, there's this little trough that tries to bring us some moisture next Saturday, but even that at this point does not look to bring us much, if any, rain. And for at least the next uh, six and a half, seven days, it is bone dry. 54 today, and then really after today, it is nothing but sunshine. 60 Sunday, 66 Monday. Each day, we're getting like three to five degrees warmer here, and eventually, by the end of the week, we're back into the 80s. I don't think any record highs are in jeopardy, but that is still way warmer than we should be. Remember, we almost made it to 80 a few days ago, and it looks like we're going to beat that a couple of days at the end of next week. So, Oof. I yeah. love their 